Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to do another segment on working with mods, except this one uh, thankfully comes to me from a good good farm sim friend, Mr. Mazzoni. He suggested this, and I want to give him full credit for the, uh, for the idea and help him explain to me how this works, uh, because I've never done this, and I think it's a great idea if you're having problems with... Uh, with disk storage because you're what I call a mod hoarder or you just basically maybe like me and Mr. Mazzoni uh, you've got different speed drives in your system and for for the sake of saving a little bit of cash you didn't buy a five terabyte or three terabyte SSD you've got a, a large spindle drive you know an old school slow drive that you install applications and games on simply because games take up a lot of space and you've got your faster solid state drive uh, that you've got the uh, the Windows operating system installed on. And maybe you want to uh, you want to put the mod folder on the SSD, and you want to have the game basically in all the settings and everything else over on the slower drive. So um, here is a really great tip. I'm going to give once again full credit to Mr. Mazzoni for not only suggesting it but basically walking me through how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we don't need to be in the game. I just brought this up so it would have a nice intro background. We're going to pull up Explorer again. And we're going to go to the game. In fact, we're going to exit the game because we don't want to make these changes with the game open. Okay. So the first step is to open our game settings.xml uh, which is in our farming simulator 2019 folder right here so our game settings.xml is right here we're going to open that up in notepad now i know that when i right click menu doesn't show up for you guys it's a kind of annoying but uh at any rate so here is our game settings.xml and we've got a line basically says mods directory override right here okay right now it's set to false what we're going to do is we're going to change that to true okay true we want to override where our mod folder is okay and we're going to change this to whatever whatever directory we want so we're going to pick just for funsy sake we're going to pick um, C, and then we're going to make a new folder. This really isn't proper, but we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to call it mods okay, here on our C drive. Okay. We're going to take this path and we're going to copy it and we're going to stick it over here. And I know I just realized that I just did some work over in Explorer and didn't show you guys. So we basically created a mods folder on the C drive um, called basically mods. And actually we're gonna go in here, go one more level deep and we're gonna go um, FS19. Actually no, we're gonna call it FS19 mods and then we're gonna go mods, okay? And let's go back here and let's change this, name this to FS19. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the game. And we're going to see that uh, basically we don't have any mods installed. And we're going to download some mods and we're going to see where they show up. And they should show up here on the C drive in the FS19 mods folder. Now the reason I put mods mods is because this relates to the previous how-to that I, that I put out uh, in to manage multiple mod folders so I wanted to have another layer deep here in the mods folder let's go ahead and oops go ahead and fire up the game and let's go to mods oops let's get rid of it. and if we look at installed and we're going to click on installed 
And as you can see, there's no content available. Go back here, go to small tractors. Let's go ahead and install the dutes. Let's go back to harvesters. Install that one. And let's install this one. Okay. Let's go look at downloaded. Are downloaded. Go look here and see installed. We can see that they are all installed now. So we're going to go ahead and escape out. So we need to restart. While the game is restarting here, uh, we're going to just go back here and look at Explore. And, oops, hold on, guys. Get back here to our C drive. It's 19 mods, mods, and now here is the mods that we downloaded from the mod hub. Okay, so now we can minimize that. If we go back into mods, we'll see that they are listed as installed. So now we have our mod folder in a completely different area than we had it previously. Uh, and the reason you might want to do this is again, let's say the former mod folder is sitting somewhere where it's kind of slow, kind of a slow drive. And what you basically want to do is you want to speed up game loading. You want to speed up gameplay uh, as it's as it's loading into the map and basically loading up those mods. Or basically as you purchase mods, uh, it's going to have to read the mod folder and basically render that uh, i3d file out into the game. So this way you can pretty much get the best performance possible for loading your mods. And hopefully also at the same time, um, if you practice the mod folder management, then you could store the bulk of your mods on the slower, larger drive, and then just have the active mods on the smaller faster drive for when you're actually doing gameplay. So I hope you liked this video and I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Mazzoni for giving me the idea on, on this tutorial. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button and go ahead and subscribe because there's going to be more how-to videos coming out in the channel in the very near future. Until next time, happy farming.